Yeah, how you doing today, YouTube? Uh, it's a beautiful day here. Uh, it's time to get the lawn equipment out and start servicing it. Today we're going to do a quick video just on this little tour of personal piece. Don't know how many years I actually had it, but we've had it for a while. It's been a good mower. It usually starts first time. It's been sitting all winter. It looks a little ratty here, but sitting up under the uh, tarp over here with the snapper to give me room to work in the shed here. So what we got to do is drain the oil. See if we got any fuel left in it. Oh yeah, we got a full tank of fuel here, which is not sure what, how good it is, but I don't put any additives in my oil. Or in my, yeah, I don't put any additives in my, I don't know why that looks like it was so full. But that's a, way over full. Eh, maybe not, just. Um, gonna change the oil. Um, out of my shack. This mower does not have a drain plug underneath it. And that looks real nasty from sitting under the tarp all winter. Not got to be scraped down I mean, there. That's a good way to rot your deck out. Uh, I have a blade that I sharpened last year just before the season ended. I'm going to throw that on scrape all this off and like I said there's nowhere to drain the oil in this actually I might be wrong about that no that's not I looked at it before and there's really not any place also when you're doing that I think the plug's on I think my plug is undone yeah my plug's undone okay so Don't, I'd, I'd like to get a new belt for this thing too. I haven't changed the belt since I had this mower, but it's been running fine. Never really gave me any problem. Blade don't look too bad. But to drain the oil, I'm gonna have to lay it the other side like this and drain the oil out of the uh, fill, fill tube. That's the only way to do it on this thing. I probably won't do the belt today, but it's something I wanna get done this year. But, Right now, what we're going to do is we're going to fire it up, let it run for a minute or two so we can drain this oil, and then we're going to change the plug, the air filter, which I know is pretty bad, it, pretty dusty at times last year. Come on, get out of there. Yeah, so the air filter don't look very good here. You can see that, but it's very easy to change. We'll pop that back on just for now so we can run her. I actually got it backwards here. Trying to do stuff one handed is not the easiest thing. Okay, so there it is. Put it on there and just give it a little twist. I might even pressure wash this thing before long. I know what I'm doing wrong. Okay. We want that at the top. Okay. So it says real quick to remove. Okay, so we're gonna just put this air filter back on for the time being. Just give it a quick snap on there and see how she's see if she even starts up today. Shroud's getting all busted up. I might have to replace that this year. I don't know how it's getting all busted up. We had a little issue going on. I don't know what happened here. I don't remember it being like this when I put it away. But this spring here is broke. Right here. So I'm going to have to put that on. Get me a new spray. I cannot see because of the sun, so I don't know what what I'm filming here. Okay, I got a spring. I'm gonna have to go inside. This spring right here is broke. Should be another clip on here. I'm not sure the 
where it connects here. I think I had this break one time before though. So I have to find out how to do that. Let's press this in. Pull that off of there like that. Same with this side. It's the old way. Okay, so what we need to do is take this apart by pressing this in. got to lay up in through here that's the bar that you grab for when you're running and starting and everything like that you got to pull that down so that it releases the brake down under the flywheel down under there and also removes the short from the uh, kill switch so let me show you Put this on here real quick but I also have to change that spring now and I forget exactly where that connects but I did do it once before so this is going to flip this way put your cable in here like that and you're just going to snap this in here and cable in there first. Probably be easier to put the cable side in first. So let's do that. We're going to put that in there. Okay, this wasn't part of the project I was planning today, guys, but here it is. You're getting a good look at it. So, okay, so that handle pulls down like that to start the mower. And it is not returning either, so I don't know what's going on. more issues than I thought. We're going to try firing her up though just to see what she does. I'm going to bring her out side here. I'll just try her from out there. I don't want to really fire it up in here. I just want to see if it runs. Okay, well, that's all we're going to run it. We're just going to turn her over, drain this oil out, and get some fresh oil in it. And I guess I'm going to have to start making me a parts list for this thing. But I do have a new blade over here. Not a new blade, but it's an old blade that I sharpened last year. I keep a spare blade. I don't know if you can see that very well, but she's pretty well sharpened. And she's pretty well balanced, too. So... We're going to throw that blade on her, dump the oil, yeah, I'm going to have to run out and get some, uh, get a spark plug, uh, air filter, I have some fresh oil here for it, so maybe clean up the underside a little bit, get some of that old musty grass coating off of there. You store your stuff, you should store them a lot better than I just did this year, but I was kind of rushing around doing things so I threw it under there and that was it so let's get to draining the oil I'm just going to lay her on her side and dump it out into a drain pan and that'll get that out of there all right so just going to let her like that for now, drain the oil, we'll come back to her and put the blade on later and all that. I got to go out and get some parts. So, we'll see you in a little bit. Okay. Okay guys, I just got back from uh, the local big box store and got what I could from them. 
bought some oil, bought the air filter, and a spark plug. So the oil I got for the snapper riding mower that I had, we got to do later. But right now while I have this thing on its side, I am going to put in my new air filter. Okay, I showed you how to do that earlier. I'll video this just in case I can get a better view of it on this. We are going to gap our spark plug. So we're going to put you right here. And I'll try to do it on camera. But I like to do my small engines at 28. There's my gapper here. Not a bad little gapper, but I like wire gappers better, personally. I think they're more accurate. I'm going to set it at 28 if it's not already there. 28 to 30 is good, and this gap is like extremely tight. So this is definitely not correct. Okay, that's 20 and it's real tight. So I'm going to kind of just wiggle it through until I'm up to about where I want to be. And just wiggle it back and forth until I get up to, okay, that's just about 28 there. A little tighter there. Okay. All right. I don't know if you can see that on there. Yeah, it blurs out when I get too close, it looks like. Alright, so we're just about where I'm at. Yeah, we're just just under 30. So that's good there. I'm gonna leave it at that. Let's bring you over here. Get you in there the best I can. Let's see if you can see what I'm doing here. Alright. I'm gonna just crank it in. I'm Almost stepping on my oil stick here. Turn it in there. And all I'm going to do is just give it a little bit of a turn. It's in. I can't turn it anymore by hand. And then I'm going to just give it a little, little quarter turn. That's it. And we'll bring you back over here. So you can see that. So, I'm just going to turn this like that. It's still hooked in the back there. But. Make sure your filter is in the right way. That's going to go to the top. So, when you want to put your filter in, you got to slide that back in. You can do, do it this way, and you're going to fight with it. So make sure your cover is in the right direction there. And you just slip it back in there. Yes, you do. Just slip that guy over there like that. And just lock it down. There you go, fresh filter. This could go in the trash. Now what I want to do is I want to look at my old plug. I know it's hard for you guys to see what's going on here, but that plug is a little on the lean side. That should be like a tan color. It's more white. So it looked like it was running lean. I don't know why it would be running lean. I don't have a lot of soot around the edge here, it's not wet. You can look at your plug and kind of get an idea of how your engine's running. Let's see where the gap let's see where the gap is on this one. It's on the tight side. It's right about where I have it set. But it's a little on the tight side at 28. Alright, so next we are gonna pull the 
blade off and put a new blade on, but we're also going to clean all this crap off of here. I believe it should be a 5 8. Yep. So what we need to do is we need to block that blade from turning. What I am going to do, okay, I'm going to take this block of wood, try to jam it in here somewhere where like, I got a little lip here. Right there if you can see it. So we're going to do it down. And I'm going to jam it in here. I, won't, I shouldn't tell you, but a lot of times I would just put my foot behind the blade and do it, but I shouldn't do it that way. It's the right way. The blade looks pretty bad from sitting under that tarp, but as far as the edge, it's not that bad. A couple nicks, minor ones. So she'll grind up nicely. We'll put the other blade on as soon as I get done scraping all this off. And later on I'll show you how I sharpen my blades. Okay, I'm gonna scrape what I can off with this putty knife. When I uh, do this belt, at some point I'm gonna have to do this belt. But I have never changed this belt since I had this mower and it is about 15 years old. Scrape all the heavy stuff. This is going to help you cut better too because it's going to keep your hair moving around. It's the worst shape I've ever let this mower get into. I think it's for being under that tarp. Not a perfect job, I'm just doing it real quick to get some, just rusting all that off. I got my handle off, so now it's going to fight with me. So we're going to leave it at that. Again, we're going to dump it off. in for the time being. Get my little tank out of the way. Just gonna pull it together like that and drop it into the on the you know what? I've got a good thing for us right here. I'm going to put some of this rust oleum, rust reformer on there and seal. Two in one rust seal. That should help preserve the undercarriage a little bit. So that should work as a pretty good undercoating. Now we'll put our first blade on. That is an extremely sharp blade. So when you put your blade on, if you don't know this, most people do, or they wouldn't be doing it. You want to have the cut edge up. And if you have the a flare that's going to create a vacuum to lift your grass coming off of that so you want that 
wing to go up. If you turn it that way, you're not going to do much of anything except ruin the blade and maybe your mower. And we're just going to put it back on, tighten it the same way we loosen it, just use a piece of wood. This is where you can put your foot behind it if you had to, but it's best to use a piece of wood. shroud but what I'm thinking is there was a crack that these fin these uh grates were gone for a while but this here is not like this so I'm either gonna try to repair that which I don't think I'll be able to or I'm just gonna get a new shroud because I like this mower and I want to keep it as nice as possible so, I mean, this ain't really going to hurt it running-wise, but if this all falls off, the engine's going to run a lot hotter. I mean, this helps with the cooling. You still have the under shroud. I could take this off, and it really wouldn't matter a whole lot. So, it's more cosmetic than anything. As long as you got this inner shroud on, it's going to be cooling your engine. This helps a little bit, and it also keeps stuff out of your out of your uh, flywheel there helps so so we're just gonna put some oil back in her and we'll pretty much be done for the night we'll run her again once we get the oil in it here how it runs with the new plug and the air filter and that'll be it There's way more in there than I need for this thing We're getting there, we're like right to there, so slightly a little bit more. This is where I end up overfilling almost all the time. These little mowers they only take a little less than a quart. They don't they won't even take a full quart, so you gotta be careful. It's taking more than I thought she would. Or didn't put as much as I thought I did in it. Just take your time, don't rush it because you end up overfilling it, which is what I did last year. I think we're there. Might be hard to see on the camera, but we are right on. Yeah, I don't think I picked it up on there, but we are right on the line there. One, two, three. Okay, so that's your uh, basic uh, tune-up on your push mower. I mean, it's it's the same for almost all push mowers. If it's not self-propelled, you don't have to worry about belts or anything like that. Um, it ran pretty good. It had a little bit of a surge in there, but it's got the uh, same gas in it that's been in it since uh, last year. I, so that gas is over six months old in there. So... 
ran pretty good. It ran better with the old with the old uh, air filter on it. I think it was just choking it a little bit, which made it run a little smoother. But I guarantee you, when I put the fresh gas in, it'll be just right. So that'll be it for tonight. We'll come back to this and we'll put the belt on it. Maybe replace this cover. I don't know what I'm going to do yet, there yet, but other than the belt, that's the only major stuff I need to be done. And plus, I also want to make a piece for that. I'm not going to buy that cover. So I like my equipment nice, but I also like to uh, save money. So I don't know what I'll do with this shroud here, but I like to keep it on there. I don't want to run without it. So we'll do something. We'll figure something out. So that'll be it for tonight. If you learned anything in this video and or even enjoyed watching it, please like, share, and subscribe. If you hit the little bell, it'll give you notifications when uh, new videos are up. And we got plenty more projects to do. Pretty soon we get back to that. And hopefully back to that. So, till next time, people.